Shalom Makyam. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukhakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, and salutations to you brothers out there pushing this truth. All right, brothers, uh, today's lesson, I'm going to uh, be going into uh, the chariots, you know? And uh, as you brothers can see, hey, man, uh, more chariot sightings being uh, brought out to the to the light every day man you know and there's a hey, there's really a lot more chariot sightings that ain't even recorded you know there's a lot of chariot sightings that's happening as we speak that that people they're just so in awe and shock and looking at the chariots that they don't even have time to to record it they not even thinking to to record it so it's a lot of uh chariot sightings that's not even on camera not even on film you know and those could be some of the best ones out there you know but you have a lot of chariot sightings that that is recorded you know and the lord is revealing those sightings to brothers those are faith boosters you know what i'm saying and on my channel that's what I do, you know. I try to uh, put uh, some some uh, some nice chariot videos up there, you know, interesting chariot videos. And I'm talking about these chariot sightings are are coming back to back, man. I'm talking about the sightings is like on steroids right now, okay? And you could, you know, nowadays you could just, you know, people don't look up. They suck on their phones. They stuck on the they're not spiritual, so people don't look up no more, you know, and every now and then you will see some chariots, you know, it don't matter where you at, you will, you will see some chariots, man, they up there, you know, they doing the Lord's work, okay, they're watching over this uh, wicked ass uh, sinful kingdom, man, okay, matter of fact, let me let me just start off with that. This is uh Amos. It's Amos. Amos 9 and 8. And it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. So who's the eye? Who are the eyes of the Lord? Ultimately, they're the, they're the angels, okay? Because in uh, Sirach, matter of fact, I get that, you know, just to, to prove a point. This is, uh, let me see. This is uh, Sirach 23 and 19, and it reads, Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding all the ways of men and concerning the most sacred parts. So those eyes, those are the angels, man. Okay. And the Lord has his angels all around, all around, all around the world, man. Okay. Watching everything. Reporting. Giving, telling the Lord what, what they, what, what you people is doing, what you thinking. Okay. They're giving... It's nothing but bad reports coming, man. Bad reports coming on you people, man. The only good reports is coming is the men of the Lord. You know? That's why the Lord is going to uh, destroy this place, man. And two-thirds of our people is going to be destroyed right along with it. Okay? So the angels are giving... You can just imagine the sins that's reaching unto the heavens, man. The angels are giving nothing but bad reports on this place. So that's, you know, that's the ang the anger of the Lord's about to come down on this place, man. Okay? Righteous anger, man. All right? His, the Lord's indignation is about to come down upon this place, man. Okay? So what you want to be doing? You want to be doing the things that's pleasing unto the Lord. Okay? Let the other people, let them be filthy still, man. Because they ain't going to get it. They don't want it. Let them do what they're going to do, you know. 
the Lord is going to handle them. The Lord is going to judge everybody on this earth, man. All right. At the end of the day, what do we want? We want to be beamed up inside of those chariots, man. You know, we see them. We want to we want to see the inside of the chariot. That's the ultimate, man. We want to be beamed up. You know, Psalm 91 chapter. Okay, we want to be uh, in protection. Okay, that's the Lord protecting us. All right? For the indignation of the Lord. The wrath of the Lord is going to come down on this place, man. So we want to be in the chariots. Us, the brethren, our families. Okay? And what we're going to be doing in those chariots, we're going to be giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're going to be looking at the destruction on this place. We, we're going to be looking at these people being put to death for their wickedness. Okay? So going back to Amos 9 and 8, and it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. So those are the angels. All right? Looking down at this place. All right? So the angels are everywhere. That's why you're seeing more sightings. Okay? Everything is increasing, man. Everything in these last days will be increased. Fear. Spirit, um, the, the spirit. Okay. Uh, revelations. All right. Um, um, just, uh, you know, you're going to have those race. <clears throat> you're going to have those race wars, man. The tension between Jacob and Esau, man. Okay, everything is about to be increased, man. Okay, hey, this hey, they about to go to war real soon, man. You know, it's all type of toxic on it. You know, strict stricter laws gonna be put on Jake, man. Before you get mandatory, you have to get uh, mandatory shots. Okay, whether your child is in school or out all right you got uh increased wickedness they got you they got homosexuals going to your your child's school and teaching them that it's okay to uh to have anal sex you know to have abortions you know teaching them how to uh ejaculate and and, and just a bunch of wickedness, man. You know, if anybody teach your child that, it should be the parent. Okay? Uh, you, we don't need nobody else teaching our children nothing, man. Nothing. Okay? That's our that's our children. That's our seeds. But it lets you know, too, that, hey, we're not free, man. We're not free. We're still in the hand of this goddamn devil, man. So when the Lord come back, we're still going to be in the hands of, of this devil. And the Lord's going to put this devil down, man, because he that touches the apple of his eye. All right. The Lord talks about that, man. All right. And the Lord talks about it's best for a millstone to be hanging around your neck and cast in the depths of the sea. Did to touch one of the Lord's little ones, man? Just roughly paraphrasing, you know. And that's what Esau have done, man. And that's what he's doing now. All right. He got Jake' mind wrapped up in a goddamn uh, uh a spiritual prison, man. Where Jake can't think no other than how Esau think. He's not thinking spiritually. You know, he thinking that he only got one life. That this is it, so just live it up. Do what the hell you want to do, okay? You know, do what the hell you want to do. When you get old and on your dying bed, you can ask for forgiveness and the Lord will forgive you. Well, it's not that easy, man, you know? What's the point of going out to the highways and byways if it was that goddamn easy, you know? It's not that easy, man, you know? You got to be doing the, the Lord's work. And it's majority of our people out there, they not even, they, they don't give a shit. So that's why the scriptures say two-thirds of our people going to be put to death, man. Right here in Babylon, man. 
66.6% of our people are going to be put to death. Okay, that's a lot of niggas. That's a lot of niggas, man. And that's good for you niggas, man. Because we tired of looking at you sorry niggas. You know, disrespecting our power, man. You know, you have no clue of what you're doing. You have no clue, man. Okay, because if you knew, you you'd be shitting on yourself on the shit that you was you was doing, saying about the Lord, man. That's blaspheming the Holy Spirit, and you're not gonna be forgiven for that, man. Okay. The eyes of the Lord power are upon this sinful kingdom, man, and He will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Okay, so I'm gonna read that again. It says, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth." Okay, so, hey man, how is He going to destroy this this place with thermonuclear fire, ICBM missiles, man? Okay, man. So when those missiles touch down on this place, that Destruction is going to be so heavy that it's going to reel the earth to uh, to and fro like a drunkard, man. The earth is literally going to reel to, I mean, uh, back and forth like a like a like a major strong earthquake, man. Okay, I could see it being past a 10.0, man. You know, when those missiles touch down, man, it's it's not going to be. No, you ain't going to want to be here. On the soil of, of Babylon, man. Okay, you're gonna want to be in those chariots, and all hope is gonna be gone from you two third niggas. All right, because hey, when the Lord called, you refuse you you refuse to listen, man. Okay, the Lord is calling now, man. The brothers is all is out on the highways and byways every week, every week. Coming humbly with the Lord's work, warning you from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, the Heavenly Father is no joke, and His Son is no joke. Okay? Yeah, hey, Yahweh Shai ain't no mama's boy, man. Okay? The uh, Yahweh Shai is a, as a, uh, as a, uh, a man of war, man. Okay? And if you don't know it, he's going to show you how much a man of war he is when he come back. Because that's what's going to happen. He's going to take the kingdom, man. He's going to take this place. He's going to destroy these, these elites. Okay? Well, they're, they're, he's going to destroy their system. Okay? The elites going into slavery. Straight up. Okay? He's going to destroy everything they worked hard for, man. All right? And the least is going into fucking slavery, man. Okay? And they're going to have the worst slavery captivity ever known to man. All right? And that's when we come up, man. All right? Two-thirds don't want to come up. They don't want to rule. They don't want slaves. They don't want spiritual power. They don't want to uh, have freedom. True freedom. You can't have true freedom... And have this devil still among you, man. This devil has to be put out. He has to go into slavery. And eventually he's going to be wiped off the face of the earth. Okay? And you other nations, you're going, to cap you, you're going straight into captivity, man. All right? You retarded-ass gooks. You retarded-ass Hamites. All right? You retarded-ass East Indians. Okay? You retarded-ass Arabs. All right? All of you motherfuckers is going into captivity, man. All right? And we're going we gonna to bust your ass over the head uh, righteously, man. We're going to give you a righteous ass whooping. Okay? For all the shit that you have done to us, it's well-deserved, man. It is well-deserved, okay? Because you have touched the apple of the Heavenly Father's eye. Which is Israel, okay? His people, his chosen people, all right? We have always been the chosen people, all right? Always, man. 
so i read it once more this is uh amos 9 and 8 it says behold the eyes of the lord power upon the sinful kingdom and i will destroy from off the face of the earth saving that i will not utterly destroy the house of jacob saith the lord so you're gonna have a selection of men that's going to be delivered which is the one-third the elect of israel okay that's going to be delivered from all the hell that's going to come upon this place man and it's going to be major destruction upon this place okay it's all throughout the book man okay major destruction is coming upon this place man okay so the thing is you gotta what you gotta do is come back to the lord man okay so all these things is happening these are signs man when you see the chariots when you see chariots you know you see in chariots um videos you know you seeing them in person those are signs man okay we didn't you know 20 years ago you wouldn't see no chariots like that man you know you didn't have YouTube to uh, go on and, and, and check out some chariot videos, you know? I remember when it was a time when you post a chariot video and you would get a strike, man. They didn't struck my ass out plenty of times putting chariot videos, man. You know? I had hard times putting chariot videos up, man. You know? I've been posting chariot videos for years, man. And it, and it, and it, you know, now that I'm, now I'm posting chariot videos and it, it, it going up with no problem. You know, I don't get no threats of, yeah, you need to take this down or nothing, man. They just go up, you know, and I'm seeing the, the videos, the chariot, the videos is the Lord is bringing them to me so I could, uh, bring them to you brothers, you know, to the, to the, uh, so you brothers can see in the spirit. So all praises to you, Bashim I was shy, man. These are faith boosters, man. You know? So the Lordness is increasing everything. This is this is it, man. This is it. The Lord is letting you know his army is ready. Okay? His army is prepared. Always. Always been prepared, man. Soon as the Heavenly Father looked towards his right. And tell his son, it is time. Yahweh Shai, he's not going to have to get ready, man. Because he's already ready. And he's going to come. How he's going to come? Like lightning. He's going to be here. Him and the army. Which is the the, uh, the angels. And the chariots, man. And they come to zap these people to power, powder. And they're going to start from the east and work their way up. All the way to Babylon, man. Okay? So, the Lord is not playing, all right? The Lord is not playing. That's, hey, it's a beautiful thing seeing these chariots, man. And every time I see one, I, I give all praises to y'all about Shema Shai, man, because it's a beautiful sight. They're not of this world, man. Okay? Not of this world. So I wanted to get uh, 2 Ezra 13 and uh, 3 and just uh, go straight down. This is because uh, Ezra's seen him. Ezra's seen a huge, a huge, he's seen the father ship, man. Okay? The same ship that Yahweh Shai is going to return in, man. Okay? You think people is, uh, people shocked over the little chariots. Aliens, those are aliens. You know? Those are the little chariots. Just imagine when the huge the, the father shit is just hovering over this place, man. People gonna shit on themselves, they're gonna have heart attacks, they're gonna be wanna put be put to death. You know? They ain't gonna know what to do. You know? So reading on it says uh, this is second edges 13. And I saw that one, it says, and it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. And this is how the Lord dealt, deals, man. You will, you, you will dream a dream. And that dream will be so vivid, so, be so, 
so real just because it is, man. Dreams are real, man. That's how you can remember the sounds of people's voices. You can remember people's faces. What you did. Well, you really did that. You did that in that world. There's different worlds, man. There was a there's a dream world, okay? There's the real world. Okay? You got the world of the two thirds. World of the men of the Lord that's doing what they supposed to do. Okay? So the Lord worked with visions, man. He'll give you a vision. Okay? You had women uh dreaming dreams. Okay, men, old men, young, you know, even heathens, man. The Lord will put a dream in the heathen. But that dream will be for us because he'll put it on YouTube and a brother will find it and then share the video. And then next thing you know, brother, all brothers have seen it. That vision was for us. They can't explain it. They don't know what it is. Those visions are for us, man. Okay. So continue, it says, and it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night and lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. That man is referring to Yahweh, okay? And the thousands of heavens, those are the chariots, the angels inside the chariots, okay? Because the Lord... Hey Amen. There's, there's thousands upon thousands of chariots out there. Okay. Matter of fact, I must uh, go to a precept. Okay. Precept upon precept. This is Psalm 60, 68 and 17. And it reads, the chariots of the heavenly father are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place okay so as in sinai as like when we got uh when we was in the wilderness okay mount sinai all right what happened moses went up there and got the commandments all right it was a huge chariot on the top of the mount all right hey we got delivered from from uh from Egypt with a chariot, man. Okay? The chariot led us. Alright? You had the chariot right there, man. You know? You had the chariot right there protecting us, man. So the chariots was always there, man. The chariots were, were always there. The chariots was there in the beginning with the when the world was created, man. Okay? Creating the angels in there. Creating. Creating the world. Okay? That's how the angels travel, man. To and fro. Alright? In the chariots, man. Okay? So it says, uh, uh, Psalm 68 and 17 says, The chariots of the Heavenly Father are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai in the holy place. So the Lord is going to be among them. When he make his return, man. The Lord is going to be among the angels, man. Remember, he said, if this was my kingdom, my servants would fight. So when, guess what? When the Lord come back, guess what's going to happen? <clears throat> it's going to be his kingdom. And guess what his servants going to do? They're going to fight, man. And when the angels fight, <clears throat> there's a smell of smoke in the air human dust okay your body getting zapped into powder man from being dehydrated with a laser beam right in your ass man you know zapping your punk ass to powder now what you got to say now where's the frowns at where's the bullshit talking where's the proud face at that face is cremated man okay the Lord's gonna get rid of a lot of ugly fucking faces, man. You're gonna zap your fucking ass right in your face, man. That's what you deserve. A full 
uh, dense beam right towards your ugly fucking face, man. And dehydrate your black ass to a crisp. That's what the Lord's going to do to you ugly people, man. You two-third niggas. All right? He going to dehydrate your black ass, man. Straight up just like that, man. All right? The Lord is not playing with you monkeys. All right? Because that's what you act like, man. That's what the fuck you act like, okay? <clears throat> Just a bunch of niggas, man. You know? You want to you wanna love this devil, but you hate the shit out of your brother. You will kill your brother, but you will save this goddamn devil, man. Okay? You niggas need death, and you need it quick. And the Lord's going to give it to you, man. He's going to come like lightning, and he's going to put lightning in your ass. All right? So, <clears throat> that scripture in Psalm 68 shows you that the Lord, his army is, is, is massive, okay? So, going back to uh, 2 Ezra 13 and uh, uh, and 3, and it reads, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and, and when... He turned his conscience. It says, and when he turned his conscience to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Okay, and this is this is gonna be going on the war of Armageddon. Okay, right there in the east. All right, right over there, and that's where war is gonna take place, man. Okay, um, and the Lord's gonna he's gonna pop up. Bam, right in the midst of them fighting. And he's going to get busy, man. <clears throat> One shot kills. One shot kills, he's going to be putting people to death, man. Okay, and that war is, uh, <clears throat> that's in Revelations. Matter of fact, let's get it. This is Revelation. Um, 12 and 7, and it reads, And there was war in heaven. All right, and that's that's gonna be happening, man. That's gonna be going on. All right. Uh, <clears throat> it says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Okay, so you're gonna have the angels. All right, Yahweh Shah and his angels. Okay, fought against the dragon. What did the dragon represent? It rep, you know, Esau, America. Okay. Esau and his is in his minions. All right. It says, and the dragon, which is America, fought, and his, and his angels. So that's Esau's Esau and his allies. Okay. All of his allies, the ones that's <clears throat> that's going to be fighting with this devil. Okay. It says, and the Lord going to juice them all, man. It says, and prevailed not. So, you didn't win, okay? And, and, and it's already written that you're not going to win. You're not going to prevail. So, all that preparing that you do, you're doing, you're getting the, you know, you got the hand of God, what you call, it's got those missiles in there up in space, okay? Hammers, uh, Thor's hammer, another name. Um, you got the uh, new military space program going on to try to fight with the Lord and the angels. <clears throat> okay, that space program. Okay, that Trump is implementing. All right, all that preparing that you're doing is 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 for not. It's for nothing. You you you're gonna you're gonna be put to death. The Lord is checkmating you. The Lord is telling you you're not going to win. Yet, you think you are. Yet, you're still trying to prepare yourself. The preparation is, is, is through. You know? Give it up, Esau. You already lost. You have lost already. <clears throat> Without one missile being fired, you already lost. Okay? Verse 8. 
and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. So your rulership, no more rulership, no more power seat. <clears throat> You're going down, okay? You're going to be kicked out of the power seat, okay? And the Yahweh is just going to take your crown from you, man, okay? He's going. The scriptures say he's coming to take the kingdom, all right? He's going to take the kingdom, man. All right? Because you don't know how to rule anyway, devil. You see, the earth is all jacked up, man. The animals, the trees, the land, the food, the air, the water. You know? You got all type of shit fucking the world up, man. And it's true, this damn disease, this devil. This damn disease, this damn devil, man. Okay, you are a disease and the Lord going to take you out, man. I got a scripture. Because that's all you are is a disease. This is Sirach 10 and uh, 10 and 10. It says, the physician cutteth off a long disease. And he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. So yeah, who is that disease? Esau. All right. You are that disease, man. The physician, okay, is Yahweh Shai and the elect, okay? Because the Lord is going to give us power to take your ass down as well, man. Okay, we're going to become uh, hunters like Jeremiah 16 and 16 says, okay? We're going to be uh, battle access to weapons of war. What is that? Jeremiah 51, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, could be wrong. Um, we're going to be become instruments of war, man. Okay? So it says the physician cut it off a long disease. And you've been ruling a very long time, man. And you've been, uh, you've been, you've been poisoned. You've been basically poisoned to us, man. You have poisoned the minds of our people, man. You know, and that's what a disease does, man. It'll break your ass down to where you can't do nothing. Your body shut down. You're not thinking the same. You know? And then eventually you die. And that's what happens in Babylon, man. He'll break your mind down, break your body down, and eventually you'll die. Not even knowing who the fuck you are, man. You know? So this disease got to be took out of, out of power seat. It says the physician cut off a long disease, and he that is today a king... Because today he's ruling, okay? He's in his power seat. He's giving orders, okay? People have to do what he say. If he want to put your ass in jail, he could do that. He's the king. But tomorrow shall die. You're going to be put to death. And it's going to come a day where there's not going to be not one uh, so-called white person on earth. And that's going to be that. That's going to be a very beautiful day, man. That day I salivate for, man, you know? I dream of that day. I long for that day, man. I, 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 I sit and meditate on that day. I can't wait, man. I can't wait, okay? The big payback, man, all right? So going back, going back to second address, <clears throat> Uh, 13 and uh, and 4 and it reads and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth all they burnt that heard his voice so we all know that a voice when you talk it can't it can't burn nothing so what is that talking about it's talking about the laser beams coming out of the chariots man Zapping you people to powder, man. Okay? That's those laser beams. Okay? Condensed heat to the max. Something you have never felt. Alright? You think getting burnt on the hand or a fucking, you know, shit, a blowtorch ain't got nothing on that, man. You know, just pure fire, man. From the heavenly father. It's spiritual pure fire, man. The purest it could get. 
gonna destroy you people, man. You know how it feel to get shot? Well, just imagine, man, that laser beam just hitting you and, and, and it's like you in a, uh, in a, uh, it's like you in a lightning bath. You're bathing in a lightning pool, man. You know, a pool of lightning times a million on your ass, man. And your whole body, you can feel it through every crevice, your eyeballs, your, 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 your mouth, your back, your stomach, your feet, your legs, all throughout within and out of your body, man. You know, the Lord's going to uh, do something crucial to you people, man. You know, um, verse four, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice. So those are the laser beams coming for you people. Like as the earth felleth when it filleth the fire. So that's that fire coming on your ass, man. Okay. And your body going to fell it, man, because it's going to melt like it's described in the uh, Zechariah, man. Okay. Those are the missiles coming down. Uh, it's gonna, just going to melt your skin right off your body, man. But these lasers, they're going to zap you people to powder, man. Okay? Zap you people to powder. All right? Different, different types of fire, but still it gets the job done. Okay? It says... And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. Okay, this is Esau and the other nations. Okay, it says, out of number, from the four winds of the heaven, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So you're going to have Esau and his allies and everybody else that's, you know, that's, that's uh, in the war of Armageddon. Okay. They're going to come, try to come against the Lord, man. Just like Independence Day. They all gathered together. All the nations came together to try to destroy the uh, those aliens that came in. Okay? Which they, in their movie, we already know that represent Yahweh Shai. Which they think they're going to prevail, but uh, uh, you're going to be annihilated, man. Okay? You're going to be annihilated. Okay? It says, uh, uh, verse five. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was a, there was gathering together a multitude of men out of them from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man, and that's Shahawashai, that came out of the sea, okay, out of the sea, out of the the the, uh, the heavens, okay, out of the heavens, the the the. Uh, you're going to have the heavens open up and the chariot just come out of it, man. That's going to be a, a, a sight, man. A huge... I'm talking about huge chariot. All right? Humongous. The fathership, man. Okay? It says... Verse 6. Behold... Salakia. Verse 6. But I beheld... And lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. So this is a huge, very huge chariot, man. Okay? Described uh, to as like a mountain. We all know that mountains are humongous, huge, all right? So that's what the chariot is going to be, man. It's going to be gigantic, all right? Verse 7, but I would have seen the region or place where, where out the hill was graven, and I could not. So this is Ezra saying to himself, damn, you know, I, I'm looking around, I can't see. He thinking it's a a, a mountain. Okay, where where is the mountain? Where did the mountain come from? It's not a mountain, it's a chariot, man. That's how huge it is. That's how big that chariot's gonna be man okay and that's a chariot that we all gonna get beamed up in man okay and that's in revelations 
It says, verse 8, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid. Yeah, that's going to be a fearful sight, man, to see something like that. Okay? You got people bugging out on little chariots. Like I said, chariots, those are aliens. You know? Bugging out, don't know what to do. What are those? That's the curse. They go up over the face of the whole earth. That's what it is. All right? Zechariah 5th chapter. All right? And yet, there's fight. So, just like the Heavenly Father did with Pharaoh, he's going to harden their, harden their hearts to where they're going to they gonna be scared, but they're still going to fight. All right? Verse 9. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. The Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, dope. Dope. They, you know, it's just, man, just destroy your ass with just a thought. You know? Just with a thought, man. Destroy your ass, man. Okay? Laser beams, fire, you know, just, man, you people are done, man. You people are through, man. It's a beautiful thing reading these scriptures, man. I get happy reading these scriptures knowing that this is going to happen to you fucking people, man. You know, I hate you fucking people, man. Straight up. The ones that's not doing the Lord's work, the ones that's disrespecting our power, you goddamn devils was destroying the people, the earth, and everything else you you touch. All right, two thirds of our people, you ignorant, stupid, uh, retards, man. All right, very stupid, ignorant retards. The Lord gonna destroy you, man. Verse ten. But only I saw that He sent out His mouth as it had been a blast of fire. You see that? Out of the mouth of the chariot, a blast of fire on your ass. You know? One shot kills, man. And you 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 running. Oh honey, I hope it don't get me. I hope it don't get me. All of a sudden you feel like you feel man. You feel like you won with the elect with electricity, man. You know? You finally feel what it's like to take a dive in a laser beam. You know? Head first in a pool of laser beams. Man, that's 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 coming to you people, man. You know? The end for you, the end of the wicked is fire, man. Two thirds, you other nations, the end of you motherfuckers is fire. That's what you're going to feel. That's the end of you. Fire on your ass. It says, verse 10, But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he casts out sparks and tempests. So different... Uh, he's showing you his artillery, man. The Lord is showing you what he got. You know, he got blasts of fire. He got lips of flaming breath. And he got sparks and tempests, man. You know, he got the missiles that's going to come down. So it's, it's nothing but fire for you people. That's, that, that's it. That's it. That is your reward. It's fire, man. Your reward is fire, man. That's what your reward is. Fire. More fire. On your ass, man. Okay? That's the reward of the wicked. Fire, man. Alright? 11. And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire. The flaming breath. And the great tempest. Alright? Mixed together. A pot of, of, of fire gumbo on your ass, man. You know? Fire gumbo and you the main motherfucker in the pot, man. Okay? You have gumbo, you have 
a bunch of abomination. The abomination in the pot is gonna be your ass. Okay? And he's gonna put fire to your punk ass, man. You're gonna be tap dancing all in that goddamn pot. Until your ass become one with the pot. Okay? It says, And they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. Why are you preparing, man, when you know that you're going to be fucking destroyed? Why? Why do it? You know? Because the Lord going to make you. That's why. The Lord is putting it in your spirit to make you fight, man. Okay? Only an idiot will prepare himself to fight against the Lord. And, and, and you are that. You a fucking idiot, man. Okay? Born a straight out the womb, a red faced fucking idiot, man. All right? And a lot of you niggas, too, man. You idiots, man. You gonna fight alone side to side with this goddamn devil? You gonna fight your Lord? You know? You gonna bite the hand that feeds you, nigga? You disrespect, you disrespectful pieces of shits, man. Go gonna put your ass to death real quick. There ain't no match. There ain't no match, man. Not one shot is going to hit a chariot. Not one shot. Not one missile. Not one bomb. Not one laser. Not one nothing. You know? Nothing, man. None, none of your weapons is going to work. All those millions and billions of dollars you, you're spending on these weapons. These, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to stop missiles from coming in and... You know, all type of shit that you got, gadgets and shit, man. Missiles that can fire from one country to the other. It ain't going to do nothing. Nothing. You know? It says, And fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burnt them up every one so that upon a sudden of, innumeral, of an innumerable multitude nothing was to be to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when I saw this I was afraid yeah it's gonna be the smell of ass in the air and that's gonna be Esau ass and two thirds of you motherfuckers man okay ass dust everywhere alright that's your ass man that's gonna be your ass people are gonna be smelling all right, that's gonna be your dust of your ass in the air, you know, until that shit settle down, man. You gonna be spread out across the land, man. Okay, and then your retarded black ass gonna come back in the kingdom ashamed. Okay, through one of the loins of the uh, men of the Lord, the elect. Okay. And uh, Esau, you gonna wake up to slavery. Your punk ass gonna wake up to slavery. Okay? As soon as your red ass come out the womb, man. I slap your ass in the head, man. Baby and all, man. I don't give a hell, man. You goddamn devils. You, you need to be put to death as soon as you come out the goddamn womb, man. You know? You, you a, a bunch of pieces... Just, you, you trash, man. Okay? And what did we used to do with trash back in the day? We would pile it up in one spot and burn that shit. You're less than nothing. And that's what exactly what we're going to do, man. After we use your ass up, we're going to pile your punk ass up in one spot and burn your ass, man. That's the end of you, man. Your end is fire. The end of you, Esau, is fire, man. The end of you is fire, man. Okay? Fire. Fire is coming for you, man. Fire, man. All right? That's what's coming for you, man. All right? Fire, man. Okay? That's all you got. That's your reward. Fire on your ass. Okay? So, these chariots that we see in daily, man. Okay? That's a sign of Esau's destruction. That's the curse 
that go up over the face of the whole earth. That's Esau's curse, man. All right? He's going to be put out of his misery. Okay? It's a beautiful thing seeing these chariots, man. Those are faith boosters, man. All right? That's the Lord letting you know he's with you. He's there. He's watching over this place. He ain't forgot about you, man. He is there. The Lord's soldiers, soldier in the place, man. You know? The Lord has always been with us, man. From the beginning. From the beginning. Okay? And Lord will, us man, we're going to see the inside of that chariot, man. And we're going to be in safety, man. Okay? Matter of fact, let's get a... Uh, Get, uh, Isaiah, all right, because that's that's the safety, man. Okay, we want we want to be uh, we want to be protected in that day, man. Because <clears throat> that's that that fire is it's, <laughs> it's no joke, man. It's it's gonna be no joke. This is Isaiah twenty six. And this, this links up with Revelation 18 as well, man. Okay? It's Isaiah 26 and 20. It says, come, my people. And he's only talking to the elect, the one-third, okay? Israelites. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. The chambers is inside of the, the chariot, okay? And that word breaks down to like a place of rest, a parlor, okay? Which a parlor is like a place of rest. So he's coming and he's saying, come into my rest, okay? And to the end of the nation, be overpassed, okay? Be passed, all right? So it says, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. So that's what the Heavenly Father's going to do, okay? Just like in the days of Noah, all right? <clears throat> we're going to enter the chariot and we're going to be protected. Nobody's going to be able to get in. All right? Nobody's going to be able to get in, man. And you sure ain't going to want to get out. All right? So it says, hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Until the indignation be overpassed. That little moment. It says, one hour this place is going to be destroyed. Okay? We're going to be in the chariot. Protected. Okay? And when we come back down, man, we're going to put these motherfuckers in captivity, man. Okay? That's when we that's when it's that's when it's playtime. We're going to get to hunting. We're going to hunt you damn devils down in your mountains, man. Okay? Think you protected? We're going to bust through that shit like a wet paper bag. You know, like a scene on on uh that movie Here's Johnny. You yeah. know? We're going to bust right in, the, right in your shit, man. That little, that door that you got that's keeping you, uh, you know, which, which you think is keeping you protected. We're going to bust right through that little fucking door, man. That little door ain't going to be shit, okay? We're going to come right, bust right in and, and, and round you pasty devils up, man. Okay, we're going to round you up, man. All right. It says, for behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose this disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So you people going to be through, man. All right. You're going to be destroyed. All right. Destroyed. And I got one more. This is Psalm 68. And uh, uh, 32. It says, Sing unto the heavenly Father, ye kingdoms of the earth. Oh, sing praises unto the Lord. And we give praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai every day. Verse 33. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens. Okay. Rideth upon the heavens in the chariot. All right. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens which were of old okay the same thing in in ancient world 
same thing now, man. Okay, the chariots is always there. To him that rises upon the heavens of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. All right, the Lord is gonna be very angry, man. All right, like I said, he's gonna blast you people with fire. All right. And at the same time, those missiles coming down, he's going to call up his elect, man. Okay? With his beautiful voice, man. All right? Verse 34. Ascribe ye strength unto the Heavenly Father. His excellency is over Israel. All right? It's over Israel. And his strength is in the clouds. So the Heavenly Father is only going to be delivering Israelites. No other nations. No heathens. No Edomites, Israelites. And it says his strength is in the clouds. All right? So the Heavenly Father moves uh, uh, where Yahweh shy in the chariots. Okay? And that's the strength. All right? Those, strength, those, those chariots are very mighty in power, man. Swift as eagles, man. Mighty in power, okay, can shrink the size, can can be as large as a mountain or larger, okay. Man, hey, the Lord's coming with, <laughs> he coming back with style, okay. Verse 35, O power, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. Man, hey, the Lord ain't, man, the Lord ain't playing. The Lord it says he's terrible out of this, out of thy holy places. The power of Israel. The power of who? The power of Israel. Is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. And that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna give power unto his elect. And we're gonna be all over your ass, man. Okay? All over your ass like a like a bad rash, man. Is it the power of Israel and he that giveth strength and power unto his people? Blessed be Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? So, hey, man. These chariots is the end of you devils. And the chariots is, is the beginning of the elect. All right? The chariots is going to beam the elect up, man. And we're going to be forever with Yahweh Shai, man. So these chariots that we're seeing on the uh, on a on a weekly basis, man, that's 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 the uh, that's the build of faith, build our faith up for the heavenly to to let you know that the heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is with you, is with us, all right. And that's to let these devils know too, to taunt these damn devils and let them know that they're going down, man. You know, don't for that's. The, to not for, to forget about Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Every time they see it, those chariots, they're like, oh damn. Yeah, don't forget about Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Don't forget that you're going down, man. You are going down in style, devil. All right? And you're going down by fire, man. We're going to take your ass out, man. Okay? So it's a beautiful thing seeing these chariots, man. You know, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? So, brothers, keep your head up, man. What the scriptures say, lift up your head, for thy redemption draweth nigh. Okay? All right? So, we almost out of here, brothers. Stay strong. Keep the faith. And with that, Lord will, brothers, was edified with this lesson. I'm going to leave it off by saying, Brachat the Yahweh, Brachat the Yahweh Shai. Rocket the Yahweh, Rocket the Yahweh Shai, call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders and salutations to you brothers out there pushing this truth. Shalom.